Hi guys, I'm Matt. And I'm Rabir. And this is Sound Like Upon Anderson's Television. Matthew. Rebea. How are you? I'm good. Are you? I'm all right. It's the end of the day. It is. It's been a sweaty one. It's certainly is a heat wave right now in Guildford, so we're really warm. Yes. But However, that brings us on to, nicely onto what we're going to do today. Yes, we're going to forge some metal tones in the ultimate metal rig without busting the bank. The ultimate metal rig. So one rig each, 1,500 pounds. That's the challenge. Let's see what we can get. Let's do it. We're just browsing here at Anderson's and we found this Jackson X-Series Soloist SLX in orange crackle. It was hidden in Matt's beard. <laughs> 609, something like that. <laughs> oh, it's pretty metal though. It is. You were looking for, and also, it's like lava. the finish is on the back of the neck. It's almost it like dried lava that's cracked open and you can see the glowing embers underneath. That's very poetic there. It was, wasn't it? Beautiful. I mean, you could go ultra budget with this, 259. That is budget, that is budget. I think I'm, I'm going to get like an all-rounder rig, something that does everything well. Check this out, Seymour Duncan loaded, 769. Okay, now you're talking. I don't really want a Floyd though, I'd prefer a hardtail. Yeah, that is that is fair game in the world of sound like. Oh, oh, here you go, check this out. LTD Deluxe, was 859, now 649, with EMGs, hardtail. That is... In a gold sparkle. Honestly, that's a great looking guitar. Locking tuners. Really spec'd out. EC1000. Dude, that was a banger. I don't know whether my Black Star budget six four nine blown out of the water. That's ridiculous. Pro Series Signature Mishiman Saw Juggernaut HT6 in satin black. Okay, six that's, two nine. That's a banger. Baked maple neck, made in Indonesia. Look at that, double humbuckers hardtail. Banger. I mean, if you're not going to get that, I'm going to get that. Because we're not doing someone else's rig, so we can use no, a sig. we can use it. That's a beautiful guitar. I mean, right. How much if that's not metal, I don't know what is. 629, if my amp's about 649, I've still got about 200 quid for pedals. Yes, you do. I also found just this now. I also just found this now. <laughs> 599. Check, check to C6 Pro. In look at that. Worst. Banging. That is good. Is that another Indonesian made? It is. Beauty. Indo. Beautiful. C6 Pro. That's really good value for money. Definitely. Well, so my original plan was to go with uh, a Blackstar okay. HG20 yeah. with a diesel VH4 pedal. Really? Okay, all right. And so that left me with about 500 quid to get a guitar with. Okay. But that's why I asked about the metal, because that might pigeonhole me to a bit of a, an 80s diesel sound. You might be, no, to be fair, diesels can do quite a few different types of sounds. Well, Plus gonna, you got I'm the Blackstar as I'm well. I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, so what guitar are you gonna get? Well, this is too much, that means this is too much. I think the Black Star's about 650, the diesel pedal is 250, so that is 700, 900, 600 quid left. Well, you'd be 29 pounds over budget. Rabia, what are you thinking? It's what's metal, your, right? What's your concept? I mean, this is 699. That's pretty tasty. It is. No, I mean, it's surreal blue burst. It's yeah, pretty... and you've got a purple heart stripe with a three piece neck, maple, purple heart. It's looking pretty damn tasty. And it's got Dimazio pickups in it. This might actually be a very good shout, locking tuners. I'm going to hold on to that 699. So Fine. that leaves me with how much? I've gone with the HD20. Well, that'll definitely get you sorted. It'll definitely be loud enough. Um, the thing is, if I go boss Katana or Katana Artist, everyone on the internet is going to hate me. You could buy like a wall of Katanas. I could do that. Into See, the thing with the Katana is, when you do metal as well with reverbs, delays, any kind of thing like that, it does it all and it's a good price. So you can't like hold it against me for choosing it. I'm going to keep looking. What about the, like the native tweaker? Yeah, but then I need pedals as well. Like, like, okay, Katana's the fail safe. The Fender Bass Breaker 30R. 30 watt valve combo, tons of gain, two channels, reverb, bright switch. Um, I could team that up with a pedal maybe. I think if I find the right guitar with that, because to be honest, it does sound very good. It's a valve combo. It'll probably get me pretty metal tone. And then, you know, hopefully all you guys in the world of YouTube won't be so frustrated at me for choosing a katana. I'm doing this for you. So the Ibanez is 699. Plus my 
699 for the amplifier, I don't leave myself a lot of room to move when it comes to pedals. So, as we never use them, a great amount of bang for your buck is a Chapman. This is a Chapman MR1 Modern Standard V2. And to be perfectly honest, when it comes to good quality, and I'm just being honest, they're really good for the money. So this is 449 plus my 699. It gives me plenty of room to get a pedal like a Tube Screamer or something like that. So uh, that's what I'm gonna go for. So I've just been doing a bit of math. I'm gonna get the Nobles ODR Mini to go with my Bass Breaker 30R uh, to tighten things up, give me a bit more of a metal edge. On top of that, I'm gonna get the uh, Earthquaker Devices Dispatch Master because it's a great pedal. It will provide extra long reverb trails if I need them, plus my delay for some leady stuff. Uh, and that, I'm still at 1,387 pounds. I'm really stuck, man. So basically, I was, my whole plan revolves around getting the diesel VH4. Right. And it turns out a customer is trying it and is gonna buy it. Right. And we don't have any more. So, I <laughs> so I've been recommended this as a backup, which is the Amp Tweaker Tight Metal Pro. You know, James Brown designed that. Sorry? James Brown. It's in The Godfather of Soul. <laughs> no, 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 it's in the designer of the 5150. Oh, fine, different James Brown. Yeah. Um, the, the issue is, is this is 50 pounds more expensive than the, or 40 pounds more expensive than the VH4. So that makes you 69 pounds over budget. I th I'm over budget. You are. And I'm well under budget, so I think you're gonna have to reevaluate. No. I mean, that saves us both. We swap you guitars. spend a little bit more, I get a little bit more off, we win. Okay. Okay, done. Back in the video room. Yes, we are in this sweaty, slidey, slippery adventure to sound as metal as possible for fifteen hundred pounds each. We are. The fans are doing nothing to help us right now. Not the, Not fans, the fans of the show. The, the, yeah, no, yeah. the fans in the room that are blowing supposed to be blowing cold air here. We do have fans. It's like thirty-four degrees in England right now, and it's brutal. It's but about sixty-four degrees in here. I love it. But I don't like sweating on camera. Yeah, it's nice when you're out in the sun, but not here. Yeah, anyway. anyway that was very British, wasn't it? Yeah, Let's it was. start, start with a chat about <laughs> the weather, guys. Yeah, we're not complaining. Uh, ultimate metal rig without busting the bank, right? Yes, that's right. So, so I did what I said I was going to do, and that was please everybody out there in YouTube land and not get a Katana. So I got a Fender Bass Breaker 30R. Yeah, and di different thing. To be perfectly honest, I'm a little bit underwhelmed with the quality of metal tones I managed to get from it. And is that mainly because you haven't got the kind of big high gain saturated tones that you were looking for? Yes. And I got the Nobles ODR Mini as a, as a drive in the front and it kind of worked but it also kind of started overloading the, the bass breaker. Really this is a hard rock amp, it's not really a metal amp. <laughs> Anyway, that's my caveat, so I'll get straight into it. This is the Jackson uh, Mishiman So Pro model that he's just brought out. It's and I have to say, looking thing, isn't it? I have to say, it's fantastic. The neck is very well done. It's a baked maple neck. They've rolled the edges so, so well. Have you felt the neck on that? I haven't actually. Just, just have a quick feel of the, of the rolled edges. Oh, they're very rolled. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. It's fantastic. Like yeah, really, I, really, I really, I'm a big guitar. fan of this. It, it's hard to get across on camera, but 
the the quality of the satin black finish is mm. really really nice great yeah. great to the touch and this neck joint i'm always a big fan of yeah they've got out the carved out horns as well um for extra upper fret access and locking tuners jackson tuners they've got that's a nice bridge that um generally speaking the whole thing is basically what you're getting is all in it's indonesian built you're getting all like i suppose jackson indonesian budget parts but they've probably put most of the money into the quality of the woods uh, the finishing and the neck and the neck yeah the neck feels like it's should be on a pro you know like an american model definitely mm. um it's nice and stripped back but all the right bits are it is great, yeah it's got a five-way coil split uh, volume and tone, and these are the MM Jackson pickups, which is obviously Misha Mansour yep. voiced. They're pretty, uh, not like they're quite high midi bitey because he does a lot of the progressive metal genty thing. Hmm. So they are a little bit intense on that. They're a bit quacky for hmm. me. Okay. But that being said, that's it. Also, the Dispatch Master for some reverb and stuff. This is how it sounds without the no nobles. Reverb and delay, that's yeah. what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it sounds without the nobles in. Which is kind of fat. You throw the nobles in. And the Dispatch Master. So if you could, if you could hear then, it started to overload the it front is. of the amp, which is exactly what I was trying to say. Like It kind of works on bridge to get rid of a bit of that top end. But on the neck, it just didn't like it. Still yeah, it. so, as I said, a little bit underwhelmed with my choices. That being said, individually, fantastic. I would probably say that the amp and the guitar and the Dispatch Master as a trio for anything that's not Full on metal, it's hard rock and below. Yeah, in terms of yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. You could do lots of nice lead playing on this. You could do the ambient clean stuff as well. Because I mean, to be fair, if I just if I just quickly demonstrate some clean tones, because it's got a clean channel, and we didn't do that. There you go. Obviously sounds fantastic. That works, yeah. So the point is, it's a very good rig, but it just for the kind of, because we were trying to do metal that wasn't, you know, like progressive metal, we were trying to do a bit of well, it's a bit, metal It was core, a bit of a broad, metal, yeah. broad brush uh, take on metal. But I think is, the guitar tones are a bit more common in the sense they're a bit scooped, yeah. lots of gain, yeah. they're really deep sounding. Yeah, it's more like mainstream metal with a bit of a nudge backwards to, yeah. you know, 80s. So this um, didn't quite get me there. I think really the Nobles was the problem, but at the same time... You could switch it out for like a TS Mini. Yeah, as a lead boost, it's fantastic, but for the kind of thing we were trying to do, yeah. probably would have chosen something else. Anyway. Fair dues, fair dues. Well, onto my rig. And I have this here, which is a Chapman ML1 Modern, um, which you will probably, most of you know. Um, we had a bit of a last minute switch, didn't we? In the we store. did have a last minute switch. Which worked out kind of well for me because I was a bit over budget and then switching the guitars meant I was really under budget. So I had about 400 pounds left after guitar and amp for pedals. So my original choice was the diesel VH4, and mm -hmm. then it was an amp tweaker, and then 
Because I had some extra cash, I opted for this, which is the Kraken um, preamp pedal by Victory, which really, to get a really high quality, huge, saturated, you know, high gain tone, I thought would be a good shout. Um, so basically, really simple. This, this is in the effects loop. So guitar runs into this, then into the amp in the front, and then also through, the, this runs also through the effects loop, uh, send and return. Um, and then into this, which is the Blackstar HT20R, because the R is for reverb. So it, you could probably argue that he, Matt obviously chose the Blackstar based on a different rig entirely. You were going to blend the diesel I was with gonna, that. Yeah, exactly. Whereas this is a preamp, so it's not even meant to be blended with the front of the amp. You could no. use any amp and slave the power section. True. So this is doing all the work. Yeah. yeah Basically, but you've got a Kraken. I have on a on a budget. So these yeah. are about three hundred and fifty. Yeah. Uh, amp's about six fifty, so it's a grand. Mm. Uh, this is about four fifty. So just yeah, shy fifteen hundred. Anyway, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So yeah, sounds pretty, pretty large. This is what I was trying to say. I think what you've ended up with is a Kraken on a budget. It sounds really metal. It sounds immediate for me that you got the depth. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a rumble to it and you got a tons of gain. But it also, it, quite often in these two rig things, getting two quite different rigs that gel well together. Yeah. I think it's part of the, the goal. I think it does this. Yeah, because I think mine sits more in the mid to high mid. Obviously, all guitars do, but in, in that spectrum, I've kind of slotted in around that kind of deeper metal tone that you've got. Yeah, and this is really full on. Yeah, it is. Full on. Full on. But it sounds really good. At, like, obviously, you can, you can dip the volume, play some... So yeah, there's loads of loads of scope for it. Obviously, we were aiming for metal stuff. Um, Do you want a little bit of trivia as well? Go on. This was designed by my tattoo artist. There you go. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I'm very, a fan. Very I'm a fan of lady. that. She is. She's got Esme Baker boiler room tattoo. Little plug there for you. There you go. About half a mile. Well, about 200 meters. Half from a mile. <laughs> it's around the corner. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I think, you know, you win this time. Do and that think? wasn't a competition. Honestly though, I, I'm probably, in terms of taste, I'm more taken with your tone. The, I love the guitar, the amp and the Dispatch Master as a combo. I would, I love that rig, yeah. but not, I wouldn't have said for metal. Not I'd for have metal, said no, for fine. It. And that's probably why I like it, because it's, it just sounds really thick, really full, really controlled. Yeah. Um, you know, like, and really warm. Yeah, like more melodic, hard rock, heavy rock, you know, all that kind of, even the prog stuff that I would play, like yeah, in the yeah. Tosca stuff. Like, it works really well for all that, but when we're talking about your classic metal riffage and, yeah. you know, all that stuff, it, I feel like it wasn't the right combo. No. But it's still a fantastic rig. But, and I mean, it still falls under 1500 quid. Yeah, and, and likewise with mine. I know I, I changed the pedal out a few times, so you can check out the, the VH4 and the Amp Tweaker um, if this isn't to your taste. Um, but yeah, huge array of tones and, and loads of headroom. I mean, I was on the 20 watt mode because it sounds better. Yeah. Um, cranking the amp and then having the pedal a little bit lower. And there you have it. There is Ultimate Metal Rig 
without busting the bank. Yeah, so I hope you liked the, the riffs we came up with. Um, always yeah, they fun were fun. To do. Always, <laughs> always well fun to do. So um, let us know how you think we did and if you liked the tones you heard and the, and the gear we picked. There is something to point out here. We did Ultimate Metal Rig. Now there are hundreds of subgenres of metal. There so, are indeed. So please suggest your metal subgenres you'd like us to try and do in the comment section below. Yeah, or indeed any other genre. We've done a, f a fair few now. Yeah. Um, so let us know what else you'd like us to see. We'd like to see everything, but what would you like to see? <laughs> I thought we wouldn't pick up on that. Anyway, I've been Rabir. And I've been Matt. <laughs> and this has been Sound Like on Anderson's TV. Catch you later. Four sec.